Good morning or afternoon, wherever you are today. My name's Anne and I'm the Mayor of the City of Burnside. I have to wear my glasses because I can't read the print as easily as I used to when I was little like you. But this story I'm going to read today is called Looking for Crabs. And when you've been to the beach, have you ever gone exploring in the rocks and looked for crabs? When I was little, we used to have lots of fun collecting crabs, putting them in a bucket, and then putting them on the sand, drawing a circle around the bucket, and then tipping the, the crabs onto the sand and saying, that one's mine, that one's yours, that's my brother's, and that's my sister, that's whoever's. And we would have a little crab races. And we, no, we wouldn't poke them or prod them or hurt them in any way, but we were just to see which was the crab that got to the outside of the circle, to the edge of the circle first. So when you go to the beach, and you'll be able to again one day soon, I'm, hope, I'm sure, I want you to have a think about looking for crabs. The pictures in this um, book are beautiful about the crabs. Look for all the ones that you can see hiding. So looking for crabs. And there's the bucket and the spade, the things that you often take to the beach. And there's one of the crabs with those big eyes. Now it's going, I'm, I love going to the beach for holidays. Sometimes it's too cold to swim so we go looking for crabs. There's mum and dad and the two children off at the beach. Rock pools are a great place to look for crabs, but you have to be very, very quiet. Crabs can be difficult to find. You have to look really hard, but try not to scare them. See this little one hiding down here. Look at the boy, the boy looking into the water, his eyes making circles. Dad says crabs are usually found under little rocks at the bottom of rock pools. Look, this crab is so big he doesn't even know that he's actually sitting on a crab. Usually you don't find them as big as that though. Mum says you have to tread very carefully so you don't hurt them. Also so they don't nibble your toes. But I don't think there can be any crabs at our beach. Look at the ones hiding under the rocks. Even when Dad lifted up a really big rock, we didn't find any. Because oh, this little one here is hanging onto some seaweed stuck to the bottom of the rock, so he's hiding away. Mum said they were probably out to lunch but I think they were just hiding. I love this one here, where the crab is pinching his, his hot dog roll. And there's the sauce in the sauce bottle as well. Crabs are very good at hiding. I couldn't see any of them in my little pool. Because he's hiding behind the bucket. Sometimes you find hermit crabs living in little shells. But not when we were on holiday. Can you see the hermit crab inside the shell, right in the middle of the page? Where do they go in the holidays? Dad suggested Hawaii. But there's this one here. It's got the Hawaiian dress on and the frangipan, the flower in the, in the hair. My little sister says they go to Disneyland. I told them we just weren't looking hard enough. And can you see the, the crab there with the Mickey Mouse ears on? I don't know where the crabs go in the holidays, but one thing I do know. That there are, and that is that there are no crabs at our beach. And there's that really cute picture of the crab sitting in the handle of the, of the spade at the beach. So I hope that when you're allowed to go to the beach again, you can go and look for crabs and maybe you'll be lucky to find maybe just one. And it might only be really, really little one, but take care of it. Put it back in the water after you've had a look. I hope you enjoyed that story.